Hey, what's up guys? War Koopa here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Heraclius and why I think he's going to be a great commander for garrisons. So right off the bat, he has a circular AoE skill that can hit up to 5 targets. That's like the same as YSG. It makes it so that you really don't want to be swarming or even be in the area. Otherwise, you will regret it, and he does also activate a mighty shield of 1200 for 5 seconds. Which, if you don't know, it stacks with other shields like Charles Martel, or even the accessory Skola's Lucky Coin. His second skill offers 30% health when used in a garrison. That's a huge amount of health, and it's not for a specific troop type either. And normal attacks also have a 30% chance to increase counterattack damage by 30% while it's in a stronghold, or 40% if it's in your city. So that's easily going to be activated all the time, and it's all the more reason to just not swarm this guy. His third skill increases skill damage by 20%. It's not up to standards on what the new commanders are doing nowadays, but it's still a decent amount either way. And then he gets a second mighty shield when he uses an active skill, and that would be a 400 in a garrison or 500 if it's in your city. The takeaway is mainly that he increases skill damage by 20%, and that's in general, whether he's in a garrison or in the open field. His fourth skill is for garrison only, so when in a garrison he gets 15% attack and 15% defense, and then he has a 30% chance to deal a thousand direct damage factor from normal attacks when he has a mighty shield up. So there is a good chance of that because he has a third skill on it and he has his active skill on it too. Then lastly, his expertise skill takes 10% less normal attack damage, which is not a lot, but if he has 3 different troop types, he further reduces that by 20% normal attack damage, making it a total of 30% normal attack damage reduction, assuming you give him 3 unit types. Now some of y'all might be wondering if he is good enough for the open field, and in my opinion, I'm going to say yes. He has a decent AoE, he gives a huge 30% health stat, offers a stackable mighty shield, and on top of that it does not nullify another commander's regular shield. He also boosts skill damage by 20%, and if he has 3 different unit types, he takes 30% less normal attack damage, which I think is great. I want to know what you guys think about him, I could be wrong, and if you guys think I am wrong, say it anyways. That's it for today's video, later.